Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for April the 15th. Today in 1599, Robert Devereux, second Earl of Essex, was sworn in as Lord Lieutenant in Ireland, or if you're British, Lieutenant. Very sorry, I have American pronunciation. <laughs> Devereux was born on the 10th of November, 1565, at Netherwood near Bromyard in Hertfordshire, son of Walter Devereux, first Earl of Essex, and Lettuce Knowles. In 1578, his mother married Robert Dudley. She was a widow by that point. Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, who was, of course, Elizabeth I's long-standing favorite and became Robert Devereux's godfather. Devereux first came to court in 1584. By 1587, he had become a favorite of the queen. He had skills in showmanship and courtly love. And by 1587, he actually replaced the Earl of Leicester as the master of the horse. And in 1593, he was made a member of her Privy Council, but his greatest failure was in Ireland in 1599. The Nine Years' War was going on. It was in its middle stages. No English commander had been successful. More military force was needed to defeat the Irish chieftains led by Hugh O'Neill, the Earl of Tyrone, who was supplied from Spain and Scotland. So Essex led the largest expeditionary force ever sent to Ireland, 16,000 troops, with orders to put an end to the rebellion. He left London in 1599, and it was expected that the rebellion would be crushed instantaneously. But the Irish campaigning season dictated otherwise. Essex had declared to the Privy Council that he would confront O'Neill in Ulster. Instead, he led his army into southern Ireland, where he fought a series of engagements, which didn't really seem to do anything, and wasted his funds, and he dispersed the army into garrisons, while the Irish won two important battles in other parts of the country. Rather than face O'Neill in battle, Essex entered a truce that some thought was very humiliating to the crown and detrimental to English authority. The Queen herself told Essex that if she had wished to abandon Ireland, it would scarcely have been necessary to even have sent him there. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where there is an episode on the English in Ireland. 